Welcome to the daily news updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Trade market scenario by Segal Sea Trade. On May 14th, the Asia Pacific Panamax freight rates were dropped. The Asia Pacific Supermax market freight rates mostly moved downward. The Cape size rate was declined again. The Pacific Handy size market freight rates showed continued hike. Before we proceed with the rest of the updates, I would like to announce that the 10th Asia Dribal Cargo Summit is here and will be attended by all the stakeholders of the dribal cargo industry from India and all across the world. Make sure to register today. Coal imports for blending by domestic power plants down 32% in FY24. Coal imports for blending purposes witnessed a decline of 32% in FY24 at 23.92 million tons compared to 35.1 million tons in FY23, an official data showed. The decline can be attributed to the increase in the production of domestic coal, which touched 997.4 million tons in last fiscal, up 11.67% from the previous year. Central sector power plants accounted for 48% of the total coal imports for blending, followed by independent power plants at 33% and state sector plants at 18.8%. The installed capacity of domestic coal-based plants stands at approximately 193 gigawatts. Cochin Shipyard surges 9% on bagging large order from European client. Shares of Cochin Shipyard zoomed as much as 9% on May 14th as the company backed a large order from a European client for the design and construction of a hybrid service operation vessel with an option for two more such vessels. The vessel is equipped with hybrid battery systems that improve energy efficiency and reduce carbon footprint. In a regulatory filing, Cochin Shipyard informed that the vessel is designed and built for the service, maintenance, and operational needs of the offshore wind farm industry in the European market where sustainable energy solutions are in high demand. With 1 million ton cargo handling target, Adani Ports go shopping for global assets. We are studying cargo traffic in the Middle East, Southeast Asia, Africa and Mediterranean. That's where we will move forward, hints Ashwini Gupta, a whole time director and CEO, APSEZ. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited, owned by billionaire Gautam Adani, plans to handle 1 billion ton of cargo over the next 5-6 to six years, a target that will push India's biggest private port operator to pursue global expansion aggressively. The company's domestic cargo volumes grew by 21% in FY24 compared to the overall India cargo growth of around 7%. The port operator has set a cargo handling target of 460 to 480 million tons for the current fiscal. Oil advances with supply in focus as US stockpiles seem lower. Oil advanced after an industry report showed shrinking US stockpiles and traders looked ahead to a report from the International Energy Agency that may shed light on market balances into the second half. Brent rose towards $83 after a 1.2% drop on Tuesday as persistent U.S. inflation dimmed the demand outlook. West Texas Intermediate traded above $78. The American Petroleum Institute reported nationwide crude inventories fell 3.1 million barrels last week, with a drawdown also seen at the closely washed hub at Cushing, Oklahoma, according to people familiar with the data. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already. And make sure to register for Drycon 2024 today.